Thank you so much for joining us. We are at the SLHDA Trade Show for 2019. And I'm here with Donette Ishmael, of course. Who is the person behind what you will see later on as we take you through some of the exhibits at our 2019 trade show? Of course, she'll tell you more as to why this is happening and why there are so many exhibitors here today and what this means for the SLHDA. Donet, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Alison. Um, like you said, today we are here allowing persons to exhibit and to showcase some of their products and services as well. Um, over the past years, the Tourism Enhancement Fund has tried to create this linkage between tourism and the various sectors in St. Lucia. And today is a perfect opportunity in conjunction with our annual general meeting for persons to really mingle with our members, the hoteliers and different service providers, and to get their products and services showcased. Um, it gives them a unique opportunity that they would not be able to get elsewhere. And even speaking to some of the exhibitors, they're saying that um, they are very happy for that opportunity and welcome many more such opportunities to um, mingle and to allow persons to know what our island has to offer. Today we have um, from wine producers, persons making um, dashing wine and spirits, from soap makers to fudge and candies. Um, we have service providers, pool operators, and so we have a wide range of products today. Right, and I'm really excited to take you around, viewers, of course. You will see for yourself why so many people need to be a part of this experience. And Donet, what has it been for you throughout the years that you've been doing this? Every year it's a wonderful experience. And the what makes it so special is the fact that Afterwards, persons reach out and say, okay, I got this opportunity, now I'm selling to various locations. I mean, we had the experience with Sea Island Cotton Shop where they had three of our, um, six of our exhibitors, sorry, um, showcased at Sea Island, selling their products with Sea Island Cotton Shop. And this is what we look, we, we hope for when we have showcases like this. And what I would like to tell persons is that um, we are looking forward to doing this more often, not only um, at our annual general meeting. So they will be hearing from us in that regard in terms of various opportunities for them to showcase their products and services. And here we are with Luan Dujo, and she will give us an idea as to why she's here today. Thank you so much for joining us, Luan. Thank you. Please tell us what is your booth all about? Well, we at Scott Sports and Awards, mm -hmm. and at Scott Sports and Awards, we work with personalizing any and everything that could possibly come to mind. We have stuff like line yards, key rings, plaques, mugs. There is nothing that could, you, you possibly think of mm -hmm. that would not be able to print on or personalize to your discretion. Right. And how long have this been ongoing? Over 25 years. That's longer than you've been around? Yes. <laughs> Lauren, right, yes, excellent. I see we have, of course, like you've um, explained, some great um, plaques here. Is this all gold plated? What I'm seeing yes. here? Yes, it is. Yes, we have them in gold, silver. If you want the full colored ones, mm -hmm. you can provide that for you as well. Okay, what's about these over there? What material is these? These are glass awards. Mm -hmm. All of these, they're glass awards. You get the purchase of glass awards, okay. you get the, the option of getting free inscription on them. Mm -hmm. As well as the crystal awards, you get free inscriptions with these as well. As I look at your table, I'm recognizing some of St. Lucia's favorites. Definitely. Red Bull, of course, has been around like for a little while now, <laughs> and it's been described as the Energizer Bunny for so many people, and I see one of my favorites as well. Porsche Carry. Yeah, Porsche Carry. <laughs> and is this the one in the coconut? Yes, this yeah. is one of our favorites, Coco Carry. Mm -hmm. St. Lucia took the move to ban single-use plastics. And a lot of people have been wondering, okay, what will happen? What will happen next? Especially with drinking straws. So we have a wide range that we just came across. It's actually from Dubai. So you're getting like the best quality at the lowest price. And that's what we're kind of guaranteeing with these biodegradable items from the foil trays all the way to drinking straws and cups as well as 
the knives and forks. The foil is biodegradable? Yes. Interesting. So we have a full line, like I said, of biodegradable items. If you look, um, you could get the camera right here. You can look at the texture of the foil and notice that it's actually different to what you regularly yes, see. Yes, it is. So with this now, we're looking at a much shorter lifespan right. for degradation and basically a much almost same price but a little cheaper in some cases right. of an item. Here with the uh, very gorgeous Joanna Leo who came up with the brilliant Where to Eat app. I want to know where were you, what was going through your head right. when you got this idea? Okay, so the absolute truth is I was just hungry and <laughs> I didn't know where to find something good to eat at the time. So I was just thinking it would be so convenient if there was a single space where people, hungry people, can see all the restaurants and all their menus and all their prices listed. Mm -hmm. And really and truly that was what inspired me to create the app. Simple wow. as that. Imagine eh? uh, an idea coming out of being hungry. Yes, yes, yes that is all it Perfect. was. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. And how has it been going so far? So far it's going well, can't complain. We've had, uh, within three weeks of launching, we're at over a thousand downloads. We wow, have nice. around 800 and something downloads on the Android Play Store and 200 and something on the Apple App Store. Um, we've been getting great feedback from the users and the restaurant owners. And we're just looking forward to the great things that will come, for, come forth from it. And we're happy to be a member of the SLH here to get um, Know, the exposure like this and we're really grateful for this opportunity and we expect that our relationship with the SLHD will continue to right. grow. Um, so W2E now as we've dis discussed is a restaurant and menu listing app so on there you can download it right now on there you can see the full menu prices and everything for every restaurant on island from Cafe State to viewport. It assists you with finding location because we also have a maps feature. Um, you see all the prices and you know we have a problem where you're hungry but you're not exactly sure what right. you want to eat. Oh yeah that happens to me all the time. So we've taken care of that problem. You simply shake your phone and it would actually give you a suggestion. If you're not happy with that suggestion you shake it again and get another suggestion. So the app really solves a lot of problems and you should download it now. It's fantastic. I'm very industrious and ambitious women who represent St. Lucia Network of Rural Women Producers. My name is Robin Darrell. I'm the president for the cluster. Um, we have four groups here in St. Lucia. We have the Miku cluster, we have the Babano cluster, we have canneries, they do the cannabis, they do the soaps, and we have um, Anskawet where they do craft like basketry, jewelry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And are you getting support um, from the local um, pub? Well, I wouldn't want to say public, but are you getting uh, a lot of support from the local? Yes, we do. Um, actually, um, Ministry of Agriculture works first. Um, mm -hmm. TIPA works first. Um, ICA. Right. Our umbrella, they do get a lot of support locally. Okay, so I'll go around and you will tell me exactly how these ideas came about. There's the uh, Babano special banana flower, I see the breadfruit flower, um, plantain flower, uh, and which one is that sweet potato flower? So, how, uh, how were these ideas um, derived? Um, I think um, a few years, a few years ago, there's a group in Babylon. In, in 2004, a group of ladies came together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they came together and um, they were they were funded to form a group and to help empower women. Mm -hmm. And so they got training and teach the ladies to make different products out of the local vegetables that we have available here in Senusha. Miku chocolate. Welcome to the Rich Taste Talk. Miku 60% dark handmade chocolate. Yes, this chocolate has been made by our Miku cluster. We have a 60, 70, 80% dark chocolate, no milk, and the beans are from Miku as well. Interesting, I love the idea. And how are the chocolates going so far? Very well, very well. We have it at the Massey stores. 
we have it at Admark, we have it at the marketplace in the marina, it's doing very well. Okay, and you also have some fudges down there as well. That's yes. really, really, really just having my tongue tingling right now. <laughs> well, um, 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 this is, well, I would say my baby, the fudge. Oh, I'm that's your baby. baby. That's why you so laugh, I, <laughs> because you know there's a little something more you know and you could add, add to, to that, that, right? So I manufacture nine flavors of a rum fudge. Right. Um, right now I have it at the Massey stores and on the airport in Beaufort. It's more like a... A tourist product mm -hmm. where you want to take a taste of Senusha back home right. when you're leaving. Right. So these are the nine flavors. And what here I am again with Dylan Edwin, who will tell us about his eco-friendly products. Hi, Dylan. Hi. How, how are you, you doing? What's it been like so far at the trade show? Um, well, it's been quite an interesting adventure. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we've been getting clients so far. I'm just hoping that when we go back to Beachcomber, we'll get a response. And you know, at, at this point, this is where. It really matters. This, right. is where, this is where the end, the end sale comes in. Yes. Um, is there anything else that you would like to? Yes, know about of course. Products? I mean, the stage is yours. I okay. see some equipment here. Tell us what each equipment okay. I is to start, about. I would love to start on this end, if you don't mind. I would love to start with our our famous salt generator. Mm -hmm. What this machine does, it converts regular food grade salt into chlorine. And when I say regular food grade salt, you guys might probably be like food grade salt what do you mean by this yes what do you mean by this okay all right here we go so this here is a demo to the system so i will show you how it works as you can see you might probably smell a little bit of chlorine because okay? I, I did use it earlier but if you look in there you will see salt to the bottom that's correct yes i see the salt there right. so what this does this is electro blades and as the power hits on, it converts the salt, as you can see here, into chlorine. As you look here, this will be the live product. So this here would be on your pump line. The water, the pump will push the water, this is, which is over here. This is a standard pump over here. It will push the water through, goes into the cell, converts into chlorine. As I showed you the demo, goes back into the pool. This here is the autopilot. This will be monitoring your salt levels and it will also tell you how much salt to add up in the pool. Versus, uh, let's say, versus chlorine, salt is cheaper. Mm -hmm. A pill of chlorine, 100 pounds, is about 700 something dollars. A 40 pound bag of salt is about 46 dollars, roughly. Um, the system now will tell you how much salt to add into the pool. Right. The salt goes directly into the pool, and that's just how it works. Mr. Samuel is with me right now, very beautiful Mr. Samuel. And of course, you'll tell us about Marine Bay Resort and the staycations and how we locals can take advantage, right? Absolutely. Of everything that uh, represents Marigo Bay Resort. So, you tell us. Absolutely. We're here to invite every St. Lucian to join us in our staycation. It's being priced very competitively. It's $99 and it's all inclusive for all St. Lucians. And this includes, it's a day pass and it's from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. All your beverages are included. It starts with cocktails. You have use of our pool and you can eat unlimited from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. So it's amazing. And we have a beautiful swimmer pool. We offer sushi, nice light fare at Brood Bar. It's amazing. You know, I find it amusing. Eat unlimited. I'm thinking, how much can the belly take? <laughs> well, when people are reclining, you'll be amazed when your body is relaxed, yeah, how much, so you, much can you can eat, eat and drink, yes. Right. So um, the day pass, as I mentioned, is $99. It's from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we're also offering an amazing staycation for St. Lucians. And we want people to know that Marigo Bay is so special to St. Lucia. Take a break from Rodney Bay. Come down to Marigo Bay. It's $199. You can spend a night. It includes breakfast for two. You know, we have beautiful accommodation and you can make a weekend out of it. For $199 US, you can't beat it. We're a luxury five-star resort. Sometimes we travel far to get a luxury resort, but right here on the island, it's available. Yes. I'm at a very interesting booth, and the reason why I said interesting is because I really love the name Funky Fungi Oyster Mushrooms. I'm here with 
Seanel Williams. Seanel Williams. You will give us an idea as to how this idea came about, how the mushrooms are made, and where we can find them, of course. Eventually, the idea came on about one day when my husband came and said, should we go into mushrooms? I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure is that you want to do? So I thought, nothing beats a try. We can find out information, watch videos, and that's how Funky Fungi came in. Now, for us, to grow, for us to grow the mushrooms, we use different types of materials. You and your wife, you all do this together. What is the process like? Um, from start to finish? Yes. Uh, it's a, if, if we stand up, we will be here for the whole day. <laughs> Literally. Okay, well, just give us, okay. just summarize. In a, nut, in a nutshell, in a nutshell yeah. we have, okay, we start with the substrate, we can be the, the base material, the growing medium. Mm -hmm. um, then we do, you do a, a sterilization. From sterilization, you have to apply the, um, the spawn. From the spawn, you do incubation from incubation to the growing room, and from the growing room to the restaurant and to the table. Here with John and uh, Isidore, uh, they are the Horizon. Uh, Rising Brothers. Yes. Or Rising Brothers. Rising Brothers. Yes. And they'll tell us about the products you see on display here today. Thank you well, so much um, for joining us. Horizon Brothers um, is based from the south, um, which um, we do honey and byproducts of honey. Mm -hmm. And we are there um, in this 55th um, annual SLHTA, um, what I say, meeting. meeting. Trade show. Trade show. Trade, yes. trade show today. Yeah, well, we started in, um, in 2001. And as we progress along, we we started with five members, and which we started um, very low, mm -hmm. and we gradually developed through the assistance of the Ministry of Agriculture right. under the apiculture sector, and we progressed from there, which we registered, and we developed like um, putting the group forward in um, production of honey and honey products. I'm now with uh, Dan Fabreen who is the uh, sales executive for Caribbean Tiles. <laughs> Hi Denver, thank you so much for joining us today. Mm -hmm. um, representing nice. Caribbean Tile at the uh, SLHD trade show for 2019. So tell us about your tiles. What makes your tile so different from the other tiles around St. Lucia? What is it about your tiles that you would love to share with our viewers this afternoon? Okay, basically it's the quality of our tiles. Um, we have a lot of different tile stores, but we, we strive for quality. And most of our tiles are from Italy as well. And if anybody knows about stone and tiles, Italy is the leading in the world when it comes for style and tour. So I've gotten to the uh, very delightful, exciting booth, or should I say table, yes. where some intriguing rums alcohol. are on display rums or, or just alcohol yeah, alcohol, alcohol are on display created by mr. Eichloff and I'm here with Ali this afternoon so we have breadfruit alcohol yes, we have dashing breadfruit. alcohol give us an idea as to well I could be the right person right but I'm sure he's yes. already Giving you an idea, a, I, so you could speak with us as to how it came about. Okay, so basically, I think I interest me, which you shouldn't. <laughs> Long story short, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay, so basically, what we have on display today is actually yeah. different forms of alcohol produced on island. Yeah. All right, these are all produced by the man himself, Mr. Eichloff. But the thing is, what we do is more different. It's more unique. It's a different style, different flavor. It's how it comes together. Mm -hmm. So what we have for starters is the breadfruit. The breadfruit here is actually a breadfruit schnapp, or you can call it fruit brandy. On this side, we have the dashin vodka. The dashin vodka is on this side, directly from the dashin itself. It's made out of the dashin. 
on this side we have the five finger gin as in the star fruit our local star fruit the gin is made out of we have a mango schnapps mango schnapps on this side over here we have banana as in banana schnapps as well yeah now also what we have which we released last year christmas is the sorrel it's a sorrel liqueur sorrel liqueur 17 percent alcohol so it's kind of like an easy drinker it's more like a woman's drink but men can have it as well we can't let you guys have all the fun you know <laughs> Again at another table at the SLHDA trade show for 2019 with a budding entrepreneur. Yes, so I will allow him to tell us about why he's here today. You are? Uh, my name is Kern Lamontine. I'm the Chief Technical Officer and Lead Developer with um, HRM Solutions, the proud presenter of the um, HRM payroll software called Cube, mm -hmm. which is making waves um, across St. Lucia right now. Oh really it is? Yes it is. Okay, big waves, small waves. Tidal waves, <laughs> tidal waves. And if you haven't heard about it, um, well, welcome. Yes. And we, we do have a website that you could go to, www.cubehrms.com to get more information about our product. And um, <clears throat> we're happy to be here at this, this event to showcase our product. And so far the, the feedback has been tremendous, the interest has been great. Um, and a lot of persons are seeing the importance of investing in not only locally produced software that can assist them in um, streamlining the HR and payroll processes, but increasing operational e efficiency, um, savings in terms of time and money, and just um, straight out you know, making a, a wise investment that would benefit not just the employer, but the employees as well. Uh, we talk about things like the ability to email pay slips. Um, to your employees, so having a paperless based system. You know, right. um, the, the, the days of having to print out pay slips, cut them, and you know, go around distributing that to employees, that, that is gone. Um, the days of having to um, sit for hours working behind Excel spreadsheets, you know, trying to get numbers and formulas right, those are gone. You know, it's a new, it's a new era, it's a technological era, and we're presenting to St. Lucians, especially small businesses, the opportunity to take advantage of a product that is of world caliber um, at local prices that you can afford. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is what we're all about and we, we we're glad to be here today to be able to share that with um, the rest of St. Lucia and the Caribbean. So we are at another pool's table being featured today at the uh, St. Lucia Hotel and Tourism Association trade show for 2019. I'm here with uh, Kenton Augustine who is the entrepreneur for Royalty Pools International. He was just um, telling me earlier that he's been doing this for 17 years. And of course, to be doing something for 17 years and still be doing it today, that means you are loving every moment of it. Thank you so much for joining us, Kenta. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. So tell us a little bit more about Royalty Pools. Well, we, as a company, we want to do everything royally. Mm -hmm. So give you a royal treatment, a royal experience, and therefore we look for really good products um, which have quality, mm -hmm. substance, and which will benefit the, the, the client in the long end. Right. So we have a number of different brands which we um, have gathered for ourselves, um, namely the Bison, the Blu-ray. Mm -hmm. These are two of our products which we distribute locally. And we are more than just a retail company for products. We also maintain swimming pools, so commercial, Residential, mm -hmm. we will maintain. Um, also, we can also give you uh, um, to construct and remodel as well right. with the swimming pool. So, you, the pool is maybe 10 years old and it's a new facelift. Mm -hmm. We can come in, give you a new tile, new finishes, make it look nice again, mm -hmm. make it look royal again, regal right. again. All right. Yes. So, that's what we are truly about. And of course, I love the industry mm -hmm. and I always seek a new. Uh, technologies that comes out, right. um, new innovations, natural products. Um, I believe in, in natural products for pool purification right. and so I stress heavily on natural products. Um, so we have a, so the salt generation, we do also do mineral based products which um, keeps the water absolutely clear and maintain your chemical 
footprint right. on the environment as well. Yeah. So what are you hoping to gain from being here today? Well, exposure. Yes, that's one. <laughs> For one, and we're hoping to just get our brand out there, our, yeah. our bison and Blu-ray Excel brand out there. Right. Um, so people can use it and get the benefit of the product. Yes. And of course to generate more sales. Mm -hmm. And of course you know that the company who does one stop shop, retail, maintain, construct. Okay. And construct as well. And do you have a website? And if so the address? Absolutely. www.royaltypoolswithaz.com With a Z. Yeah. At the end, not an S. With yeah. a Z. When you go on there you see a beautiful website. Yes. And we've come to La Cantina Wines. Did I pronounce that properly? That's correct. Um, as we continue, of course, to feature our exhibitors at the SLHD Trade Show for 2019. So I will allow you to pronounce your name because I didn't want to mess it up. I just <laughs> love the way it sounds. And I'm like, nah, I got to let you do this. <laughs> Great. The name is uh, Oshia, Oshia Lube. Some people say Lubin, but it's Lube actually. Yeah. That's the pronunciation. And it's French? French. Okay. So you are the right person to tell us about your wines. Great. So I'm here today we're featuring our different countries mm -hmm. we import from and distribute here to many of the best hotels in St. Lucia. We distribute to Jade Mountain, Cap Maison, Windjammer, and Chastney. Very good hotels and um, we have a very great reputation as well even we work with sugar beach as well mm -hmm. yes and um, our goal is to also distribute actually to uh, expand knowledge to the uh, clientele of the country you know and to gain that knowledge of wines because people need to know about wine appreciation and to know more about more wines why they should drink wine what to have wine with you know and that's one of the goals we have to have wine with what? Your food? Wine with your food. Okay. You know, what wines, go, what meats, yeah. variations as well, because um, sometimes you get different uh, dishes. Sometimes you get a spicy dish. You say, oh, it's spicy. What can I have with that? So I recommend, hey, spicy food here. I know where the wine for spicy. I'll tell you, okay, red wine spicy. Go for a Syrah. White wine spicy. You have a good stromina. You can try that, you know, Riesling. You know. So we actually expand knowledge and we help our clientele side by side we work with them. Right. Yeah, so we train staff as well within the um, industry mm -hmm. to sell the wines at the establishments. So we don't leave you stranded. <laughs> <laughs>